This is East Guildford. East Guildford Station opened on the 13th of July 1896, named Woodbridge, serving the agriculture showgrounds near the station at the time. Twelve years later, in 1908, the station was renamed to East Guildford at the request of the council for a cost. It wasn't until almost 100 years later that the old name of Woodbridge was reused for the station one stop down the line today. Later on in the late 1960s, the station was renovated into the structure that still stands today. The station is located 14 kilometers from Central Perth between Swan Street and Alpike Street in Zone 2, serving the eastern part of the town of Guildford. Train replacement bus stops for the station are located a short walk away on East Street as well as a stop for the Route 36 which runs the entire length of the Midland Line. And while I was talking about that, we have now crossed over the tracks to the island platform using the steep ramps on the eastern side of the station. Attention Transperth customers, please be advised that smoking is not permitted on Transperth property or services. Thank you. This platform is just another simple hut one with a bit of extra shelter provided under the footbridge. As usual, Platform 1 is for trains to Perth and Platform 2 is for trains to Midland. Here you can see the footbridge that we just walked across from over there and on that side is a small car park. Here is the good view of the station from the ramp leading down to the car park. Which is a small sandy stone area with an asphalt lane in the middle. Down here there are also some bike huts and a bin, and then back over the footbridge to the platform, where there's an open station smart radar processor and another bin, and then under the footbridge there are some bike URLs. In the hut there is of course a help point with tickets, emergency and information, seating, the hut is shelter, and a defibrillator. On the other side of the hut there are some planters and a bit more seating under the light posts, and then on the other side of the platform, there is another smart rider processor if you are using this exit, which is a peculiar long flat path down the median of the tracks which leads to a pedestrian maze. Let's go all the way down. Look, the gates have just closed. A train must be coming in right now. And that's it for this station. There's nothing much you can say about tiny hot stations in the middle of suburbia. Let's get a shot of that, and then we can start the train clips. There on the left you can see the cell tower for Guildford near the station. And here's the train. It is A series set 1. And... 39. Okay, the gate's now open. Let's go on the other side to get the departing shot. I give this station a rating of 2 stars, as it is almost as bad as it could be as a hot station with limited facilities, but at least there is a footbridge for safe access to the station, instead of a pedestrian maze over the tracks. Here goes the train, viewed from the PSP running the entire length of the Midland Line on the northern side of the station. Off it goes. And then a quick walk down, there's this sign which points you which way Perth is and Midland is. Only 14 kilometers to Perth and 2 to Midland. Midland is not very long. And this is where we started the video. Train clips.
next train to Midland does not stop at this station.